Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you a pretty neat and pretty recent addition to PowerPoint. So this is a rehearsal coach. So if we come into PowerPoint, we go to slideshow, and we see here we have rehearse with coach. And what on earth does that mean? Well basically they have set up an algorithm or some algorithms that will track you talking to your slides and give you feedback. And it can happen in two ways. The main way is after you have done a practice run of your presentation, it will tell you about it. The other way that it will do it is on the fly. So if we hit rehearse with coach, starts at my slides. These are my slides from a fairly recent uh, video that I did about three IQ test. And we can see down the bottom here, we have start rehearsing and this little tick of show real time. So we'll start with that. So I'm going to hit start rehearsing. And as soon as I hit that, it is now listening and assuming that I'm talking about my slides. And so if I start going, um, 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 you can see that it's actually got a little pop up. The noise is maybe a little bit annoying saying, stop saying, um, so let's suppose that I was talking through these slides and I started off and maybe I was, I've been talking so far at a reasonable pace, but I started talking very monotone and then I was very slow and I move to the next slide and keep talking slow. We can see that it's given me a prompt to talk a bit faster. And so if we jump to the next slide and then maybe I start talking really, really fast and I say about a ball cost dollar ten in total and the back cost dollar more than the ball and how much they cost and I keep going really, really fast. Then again, in real time, it's giving me this information. And what we will find is that when we get to the end of our slides, it will give me a feedback summary of what's going. So if we just go skip, skip through a slide really quick and that was my last slide and so there's the end of the show then we get this pop-up and it's got some interesting information on it so let's just make it a little bit wider and so it tells me how many slides tells me how long it took gives me my pace and it does average it out so you can see here that average 132 words per minute we were just doing it kind of a two minute demo, so this doesn't really mean all that much. But we can also see they also graph. We can see where I was kind of talking normal, purposefully slow, really fast. Uh, and then also the pitch, and the pitch is maybe a little bit unfair. It's telling me that I was monotone all of the time. Uh, we can see though when I was being purposefully monotone, that it really dipped down and then I think in part because this is an average and then maybe in part just because of what it thinks of my voice didn't really get back up beyond uh, this top we scroll down repetitive language uh, and I kept saying really so this is quite interesting I have noticed that when I have transcripts or if I am editing my audio that I do have words, and you'll have words too, unless you are a very, very crisp speaker. One that I will often have at the start of a sentence where I'm thinking about what I want to say is I'll say something like, so, and then I'll go into a sentence. Didn't pick that one up here, uh, but I'm sure if we had a report summary of a lot of my videos, things like so, interesting that really, maybe, try a new word or phrase, sure, not sure about that. Originality, you avoid reading text aloud, so it tells you if you were just reading off the slide. Uh, and we come down, the very last one down the bottom here, inclusiveness. Great job, your use of inclusive language was excellent. So I think what happened there is not so much that I was being particularly inclusive, uh, but just none of what I talked about really had any kind of pronouns or any discussion of any groups or anything where we might get ourselves in trouble with inclusiveness. But all of this, really, really interesting. And I think if you are preparing to give a, an important talk, maybe you're going to a conference, something like that. Uh, I guess if you're new to teaching even, and you wanted to practice talking along to your slides, 
some really great information in here. Uh, with our statistician hat on, we might say eh, some of these measurements may be a little questionable, but the value out of what they've provided here is really quite amazing. Uh, so this is available, I'm here on a Windows PC, this is the latest version of uh, Office 365, the personal version. Uh, had a look on the website and it seems to be available on mobile as well. So if you are on a tablet or I guess even your phone, it said uh, Mac and uh, Apple and Windows uh, and, and Android all supported. So I think as long as you are in the latest version of 365, somewhere in that slideshow, you should have rehearsed with Coach and it's got some really interesting info. At the very least, I think it's quite interesting because... You don't tend to, unless you make videos, uh, you don't tend to hear yourself speak very often. And so there'll be little things that you will pick out, or it will pick out, that you might not have realized. So this was the Rehearse with Coach from PowerPoint. I think hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, please like the video, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I'll see you back soon for more useful videos.